Hello everyone and welcome to official Hellraid livestream. Hellraid is a first person hack and slash game and it's coming to PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One next year. With me here today is Mike. Hi guys. And my name is Paul and together we will walk you through the very first level of the story mode of Hellraid, the prologue. Now today is the first time we're showing the game publicly running on Chrome Engine 6, which is a new engine, the same, same one that powers Dying Light. Another thing to note is that Hellraid is still in development and this is an alpha build, so some bugs are to be expected. If you guys notice anything, please let us know in chat and our members of our team will be answering your questions in chat live. Now without further ado, let's begin. All right. They returned as the prophets foretold, unleashed by the sins of mankind. The seal that trapped them beneath the world was breached, and they arose from the depths of hell. This is the story of Aiden, a low-ranking recruit who deserted his post, not to save himself, but to save the only family he had. Okay, now the game begins on a mountain trail where our hero, Aiden, uh, is walking towards his childhood home, the village of Redvale. The old ruins of Corvus. It's not far now. Uh, Aiden deserted his post to make sure that his sister was safe as he already heard about demons in this area. And that was the ethereal voice of Merwin, Aiden's sister, and her appearance in the story at this point is as much of a surprise to the hero as it is to the players themselves. So the goal of this mission is to find out where is she, what become of her, and why is she talking inside our heads. Okay, smoke on the horizon, what that might be. Red Veil's burning. Did I come all this way for nothing? And I'm sure we're all surprised. That day our mother died, the day she was burned alive. Do you remember? I can still hear her screams. So, I am sure that when you guys tuned into the stream, you did not expect a game like Hellray to be a hiking simulator, so no worries, uh, the fighting's coming quite soon. Actually, it's just round the bend. Well, how did I know, right? <laughs> the first three skeletons of the game. Yeah, I see a magical item there, so we can pick that up, Mike, I guess. And a healing potion, nice. Ah, but it's actually worse than what we were using so far. Okay. Uh, now, you have just witnessed the basics of combat in Hellraid, and in Hellraid every weapon has a fast light attack. Mike, please. <laughs> okay, and a strong overpowering one. Okay. Mike can also parry with any weapon, but it requires careful timing in combat. We're gonna show it in the next one. They said our mother was evil. A witch. She was connected to life and life's mysteries, and so are we. Is my sister still alive? Or have I just lost my mind? Another crazy nut of hearing voices in his head. Okay, so we're near the ruins that we have seen in the beginning of the demo. And there is a weapon that we set up here, a magical one this time. Okay. So this is a mace, and as such, uh, okay, let's let's put it on, I guess. The merciless school nice crusher. Name. Yep, I love it. <laughs> oh, higher critical chance. Uh, now the thing is that we wanted in Hellraid to play differently with any weapon. So this is a blunt weapon, and it deals more damage to skeletons, and has a higher chance to stagger them in combat on top of its magical 
uh, property, which is, I think, the merciless, so it's critical chance. Yeah, I think it's the critical chance. We'll get to use it soon enough. Yeah, crossbowman. Okay, so there is friendly fire. Not there yet. Nice parry. Whoa, double parry. Cool. So yeah, we just showed the parry, just as I said. <laughs> Mike delivers every time. Yep. Okay, uh, in this fight, Mike actually did some dodging. Maybe do some dodging now. Just show him. Oh yeah, so the dashes. You can do a dash in any direction to manage your position in combat, dodge projectiles and attacks, and close the distance to enemies. And actually, legwork is the basis of defense in Hellraid. Nice, okay, flying bones. Uh, okay, so a gem of fire. Those are the basis of an enchantment system in Hellraid, a crafting system, if you will, and you can use a combination of those to create some really powerful weapons. But we're not going to be showing it. Elders say the last time Hell was unleashed, the leaders of Corvus prayed to the demon lords for mercy. They practiced human sacrifice to appease them, and the Legion of Light slaughtered them all. Their souls were sent to burn in Hell, and their bodies were buried to rot. But now, Hell is raising an army. Okay, so we got our first magical weapon, like uh, a magical staff, and this one actually uses the power of ice. And as every staff in Hellraid, it has actually two firing modes. Uh, the first one that we're going to show in a moment is a freezing beam. So let's wait for an opportunity to use it. Ready? <laughs> the opportunity arose. <laughs> and frozen. <laughs> And the second one is the homing ice shirts, as you can see. Now, at this point in the game, magic is completely overpowered, but we still want to show you some of it. Yeah, it's still cool. <laughs> it's still pretty fun. Uh, the freezing beam, as it is, actually deals very little damage, but if you freeze an enemy, you can shatter him regardless of his remaining HP. You're abusing that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now that was some surprise with that. I think I see another school crusher there. Is it? No, it's a maze. And it's worse than the one we have. And one more. Okay. Uh, the sword of under decapitation, of course. <laughs> Those of you who got the reference props. Uh, now, in Hellraid you don't have to choose whether to be a warrior or a mage. You can mix and match elements of melee, magic and ranged combat to make your own personal playstyle. And we want to support that through our skill system, about which we're gonna talk in just a minute, as soon as we deal with that under thrower there. Oof, big <laughs> Down he goes. And a level up. Uh, now with each level up you gain a skill point and already in the beginning of character development you have a multitude of choices. Uh, and for the purpose of this demo we're gonna go with an active shield, uh, active skill, the shield bash. And as you can see we already have more than a hundred unique skills in the skill system with thousands of possible builds and we're gonna expand on that since that's only a work in progress. Okay, let's go ahead. And I think we got a shield there. Yeah. So we're gonna use the shield quite soon. It actually changes the way combat works quite significantly, both when used by the player and the enemies. Okay, so our new shield bash. <laughs> a 
ne? Hey done. Let's check the shield, and it's worse than the one we have. Uh, okay, we got five health potions, so that's quite a lot. But we might still go to the side area here. Uh, we set it up so in case Mike got low, he had some healing potions potentially in the barrels here, and he can also enjoy the views on the way. Uh, in the full game, of course, there will be multiple side areas and there will actually even be side quests. But this is the first level and we're kinda in a hurry to save the sister, so there's not, not too much of it. And only gold. But still, you've got four, so this is a safe number. Uh, okay, let me remind you, uh, this is the first time we're publicly showing the game running on Chrome Engine 6. And what it means for the game is that we're developing it for the new consoles as well and we're aiming at Full HD in 60 frames per second on both of the next-gen consoles. Now, this new engine also allowed us to expand the levels, create more space, more detailed environments, set up these, light, these views that you can see, and use a brand new lighting system. All of that just combines to give hell rate unequaled graphical quality. And there is another opportunity for exploration in this hut. Okay, so we got a new armor, a plate one, so this is gonna be quite an improvement. A new braces and a magical stuff. Now let's take a look at the inventory. Uh, Mike's gonna assign weapons to quick slots now, so he has access to them in combat. And we can also take a look at the new armor. Now the plate armor is much heavier, but it also offers better protection. Now, right now the game is still in alpha, so all icons look the same still. But we're working on it, and no worries, it will change in the final version. Okay, let's go. Okay, new gloves looking good. And new stuff. Yep. Uh, we'll check it out in a moment. As you can probably already can tell, it shoots lightning. <laughs> good aim. It's actually not too easy to do. I had to get it right. Nice. Okay. Uh, so this one shoots a stream of concentrated lightning and as such it can actually cut off limbs and the idea here was to make sure that even magic users had some fun with dismemberment. <laughs> yeah, and we're almost in the village. Or maybe over the hill. Yeah, just over the hill. The villagers killed our mother because her power frightened them. Just as we frightened them, even as children. That is why they were so cruel to us, why they shunned us. Yep, and it's views like that that make us really happy about how Hellraid looks on the new engine. So the transition was a good thing. <laughs> Are you gonna try the thing? Let's see. Nope. Oh, a bit too much. Yeah, there's a, there's a thing actually when you cut off two limbs off of a zombie or, or an undead. It's actually gonna try to bite you, it looks extremely sweet. But it's hard to do because, they're, as I said, the magic is extremely overpowered at the moment and it actually kills them before it happens. But we'll get it right, no worries. Oh, headshot. So we got a two-handed weapon here. Those are much more powerful than normal weapons, but also much slower. <laughs> and of course you cannot use a shield with those, but I guess you could probably figure it out on yourself, right? <laughs> By yourself. <laughs> and there's one to the right. Yeah, okay. And another throw up. And one more. So Mike actually did a quite a fun thing there, you can actually wind up your attack and then dash forward to just execute it like safely. 
So it's a fun thing to do, and normally it's gonna need a skill, but in this build you can actually do the Geneva. So I'm impressed with this build too. Uh, I think we just got a skill point back there, so maybe let's assign it. Uh, now to go with our tanky theme for this playthrough, we're gonna go with a passive skill this time, the Elemental Resilience one. And we've played through the demo like a hundred times already, so we know that it's gonna come in handy quite soon. Okay, let's go. Poor Bessie here. Okay, so that's the village. Uh, the house of the sister, uh, the goal of this mission is on the other side of it, so we'll have to fight our way through. Okay, so another enemy in the distance. Okay, <laughs> so we did that on purpose. Uh, those guys, when they explode near you, deal extremely heavy damage, even through their resistance and armor. But Mike can actually use those in combat with just a little bit of creativity. Flying bones, cool. There's one more. Good dodging. And I think a magic weapon, but I think yeah, the requirements were too high. We cannot hit it yet. Okay, what awaits us here? Oh, okay. So those are the elemental enemies. Uh, they deal more damage when they hit you, of course, fire damage. So our elemental resistance will help here. And they are more resistant to fire damage, so those exploders wouldn't deal nearly as much damage to them. Yeah, and they're gone. The last of them, or more are coming. Yet yeah, more are coming. So let's deal with those before we go looting around. Oh, it's too close. One more there. Okay, so the two-handed approach. And one more. Ah, we blocked it. Uh, okay, so Hellraid uh, features hundreds of thousands of random generated items, and you've seen loot falling out of enemies all the time. But here we set up an example of a more powerful blue item, the bloody champion of slaughter. Cool name. <laughs> So it actually deals more damage and I think it drains health as well, so it's going to become quite useful. And this is the fourth tier of rarity in items. Uh, the max tier, the fifth tier, we haven't have a name for it yet, the unique items or legendary items, will need a lot more wealth in the But this is quite powerful already. You can take those kits onto your shield, but it actually drains quite a lot of stamina, so you cannot do this independently. Or they will break through your guard. Oh, two more here. Yeah. I guess four portions are enough. And meet the Herkes. This is the boss of the first level of the game, an enemy that we based heavily on European medieval lore. And quite a nasty creature at that. Oh, get. Okay, good dodge. And dealt some, uh, some damage to him as well. Okay. That's too close. Okay, so as you can see, you cannot block his attacks, even with a shield. So we're gonna drop the shield to gain a little bit of speed in combat, and hopefully that will help Mike dodge attacks. Ah, we're still on three health potions, so we're gonna do fine. That would be pretty embarrassing if we died here. <laughs> Nope. Oh, no. 
This is it. This is the end of our presentation of Hellraid. We didn't want to spoil the ending of the first level of the game. Now the game comes to PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One next year, however you're gonna have a chance to play it in Steam Early Access this autumn. Now if you have any further questions, we'll be in chat answering them for quite a while and we're also gonna rebroadcast now our last stream which shows the game on Chrome Engine 5 so you guys get a chance to compare. And thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye.